First I'm going to demonstrate on how to use Magic Gloss. I've sealed my paper template using clear packing tape. In order to avoid air bubbles and creases, you're going to use a paper creaser to run it over the your image. The tape has been applied to both sides. With using Magic Gloss, this avoids your inks from smearing. Next, I'm going to cut along the edge. Using the Q-tip and white craft glue, apply it to the back of your sealed image. Place the image inside the bezel and using the paper creaser Allow your glue to completely dry before applying your Magic Gloss. Apply an even layer of Magic Gloss to the entire surface of your bezel image. I typically start with the edges and work my way towards the center. To avoid air bubbles, you're going to use a heat tool gun. I applied the gloss on a piece of paper for easy transfer into the UV curing light. You're going to let your piece cure for approximately 15 to 20 minutes. Now I'm going to demonstrate on how to use crackle accents. Apply it to the back of your image as the glue. Use your fingertip to smooth it across the entire surface. Insert the image into your bezel. Push down with the paper creaser. And allow it to dry. Once your image is dry, apply the crackle accents over the surface. Again, use your fingertip to smooth it all the way to the edges of your bezel. Let dry approximately one to four hours. Once your bezels have dried, I've used pitch black acrylic paint dabbers to color in the surface of the cracked area and then I just use a paper towel to remove the extra paint. This really shows the details within the cracks. Here are a few examples using Magic Gloss. You can also embed charms, flakback crystals, and beads. And here are a few examples using Crackle Accents.